it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to CADCAST episode number 595. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who is the original surprise mechanic, Wombat. Surprise! No, surprise, I don't know how to fix your car. I, your car is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a surprise, though. Shouldn't be a surprise. No, not not if I'm under the hood. I, could, I couldn't even plug my own tire. I had to get help from next door. Well, yeah. I wouldn't expect you to be able to do that yourself. I would... I had never done it before, but I'm lucky that my next door neighbor is a mechanic, so it helps. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Shipwreck, do you know how to plug your own tire? I've done it before, yeah. See? Some people know how to do that. I know how to do it. You drive to the auto repair shop on the corner, he charges (laughs) you 20 bucks, and then you leave. Yeah. (coughs) Mm -hmm. Worked. Now I know. Now I know how to do it. Like if I was in a pinch. Having seen it done, right. but hmm. I'm pretty sure you could go into YouTube and learn how to do this as well. Yeah, but it's nice to see someone do it. It's always better. It? Whatever, sure, why not? No, this is all sounds plausible. You don't have to it? subscribe to him. Exactly. He didn't say like and subscribe below because that would be inappropriate. Hmm. I like my surprise mechanic joke. I'm standing by it. <laughs> no, it was fine. It was uh, appropriate. Timely. Mm-hmm. Very much so. So welcome to the show. It's summer. This is the big summer show. Oh. Is this, this is the big summer I show? Know. Ty's going to- Glad I'm wearing this shorts. This is it. Last show until September. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing quarterly now? Is that how we're doing it? <laughs> I don't know. We don't have any sponsors the next couple of weeks. I think, you know. We're going really? quarterly. <laughs> wow. Well, well, that's out. <laughs> oh. See you in August. So. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. The sp- Sponsors. <laughs> we have to do at least enough shows so that the the uh, Li Retro show is number six hundred. I know. I was doing the math before, oh, what and is the math? if if we do do a show every week, do do. Uh, I think the Li Retro show would actually be six hundred one. So we may not want to do a show the week before. I definitely don't but want. We can not figure it out. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That would be fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I was, as I was telling Chip earlier. Then we sort of like get out of having to do anything, you know, mm-hmm. like special. Everybody wins. <laughs> mm-hmm. Except everybody. Because that would be the special show and people right. come and, and be excited right. and be like, oh, 600. What can we do to make it special at the LA Retro show? Uh, take out our wangs. <laughs> and get arrested. No, we wouldn't get arrested. We'd get applauded. Mm. You're friends with the police. <laughs> I got pulled over today. I know, but what happened? I uh, I was coming back from ping pong, where I just uh, played against several young ladies and got beaten. At once? No. One after another, they, they played against me and destroyed me because they're all top top level players. So it was just ridiculous. Like I literally, they, I cycled through all of them and it was just one loss after another. Um, so feeling great from that, you know, <laughs> those conquests, I was driving home and there's a place where I live where it's, it's like a steep downhill area and the speed limit is only 25 miles an hour. So 20, I don't know if you know this or not, but 25 miles an hour is like pretty slow. And when you're going downhill, it's difficult to go that slow. You really have to make an effort. It's not that, not diff- especially in the, especially in the rocket you have. Like going downhill it's going downhill. Anyway, so I I see like I see too late. There's a cop standing on the side of the road. There's no cop car. He's just standing there and he's got like some sort of like speed radar binoculars. Like mini, they like look like opera glasses or something, but there's like a radar built in there or something. So he signals me for to pull over and he comes over and he asks for my my shit. And I and I give him my shit, and he sees my address, and he's like, "Oh, do you live? You live at the bottom of the hill there, in that in that like box house?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, I met the uh, you know the the guy who used to live there," and of course, I knew the guy's name. I knew, you know, I literally wrote the Wikipedia page about about the guy. So I was like, "Oh yeah, you know, Mister So and So," and he lived to be there until he, you know, he lived there until he's ninety eight years old. And I started, you know. 
schmoozing the guy, and I I got out of the ticket. He was just like he wow. was just like he was just like all right, you know, only twenty five miles. He hour. was like, here's a guy who could afford this pay to pay this ticket. I'm not going to give him. I one. think it was more. <laughs> I think it was more like I'm the local police guy, and this guy lives just moved into. He asked me like when we moved in, and I told him, you know, it's just only a couple of years ago. And has it only been, been a couple three, of years? Three years. A few really? years. That's it? I guess a couple is not accurate. A few is. No, I just saying. I feel to me. I thought it was like six. So, <laughs> so I think you know the guy. I wasn't like I was going like thirty five. I wasn't. It wasn't like I was fucking jamming down the hill. There were like plenty of cars in front of me. Like so, you're going seventy five and a twenty. He could have pulled over anybody. I'm sure, but he chose to. He just. I was an easy target to pull over, and I mean, I was just somebody to pull over. You could have pulled over anybody, and I wasn't a dick when he pulled me over. I didn't say like, "Oh, why'd you pull me over?" I just was very polite. Part of it's probably also he's probably not trying to catch the people that live in the neighborhood, right? Right, and you know, I, he could see that I wasn't an, a complete asshole, so he was like, "All right, just be careful around here. It's only 25. That's true. Would you be able to go to? I am trying to think what courthouse you would go to for that. I, I didn't get a ticket, so I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just thinking. It doesn't matter. Saying, Who like, gives a shit? Because if you're local and it's the local courthouse, uh, right. there's a better chance of you going to fight okay. it, and it's not worth. Well, we it don't have to worry about that. Um. I was agreeing with shipwreck is where I was going with that. Yeah, of course. No, I I agree. But I'm sure if I said to the, if I was like an asshole, well, who knows what he would have done. Anyway, it was a good lesson for Ty, who was in the back seat. That also probably helped me get out of the ticket. That Ty was in the back seat. Um, but it was a good lesson to Ty to be polite whenever you can, and good things will happen. Mm-hmm. Speed away. So it's, I like I said, it was like a downhill. It was like a speed trap. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing you weren't shoplifting Barbies from the dollar store. It's a good thing. This is my white privilege right there. Yeah, a my little My white bit. privilege is that uh, I didn't get it's, shot it's for, doing, for going downhill. Your white privilege is showing. Oh, my God. I was watching. I don't know why. I watched, I watched YouTube, the YouTube videos that YouTube recommends to me. I don't know why I do it, but once in a while, I'll, 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 I'll click on one that services. And there was one with a recent one from, with Jeremy Piven called you know, Jeremy Piven is blackballed from Hollywood. You know, and you know Jeremy Piven, right? From Entourage. Yeah. And I was like, I want to see what Jeremy mm-hmm. Piven's up to now because I remember like he he got me too, right? Or something. Did he? I believe I, you. I think, I'm not sure. I only because I only I only made it two minutes into the video because he was saying how he said it was the literally he said Look, I'm a I'm a Jewish guy. I'm a Jewish guy. Um, st- I was a stage actor, a struggling stage actor, no money. There's no white privilege. And I'm like two minutes into the video, and that's what that's about as far as I made it. And I had to I had to give up on hearing about what Jeremy Piven was up to. And on January 27, 2018, three women accused Jeremy Piven of sexual misconduct. And that was only last year. I thought there's something happened way before that. I feel like. I feel like he's been, hasn't been anything for far more than a year. I'm just that's the one that comes up it. first. Yeah, <coughs> I don't know. Google the Google algorithm, uh, the uh, the YouTube algorithm, got me. Hmm. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I got a I got a CAD cat update because Ty got his report card. Okay, he got straight A's and. So you, you he got, got all A's and one A plus. Ugh, well, you said all A's. So you're out. <laughs> you're good. You're, you're good. <laughs> Woo! So don't don't over it. Don't overdo it. Now you're just showing off. No right, cat. Right. Right. So I don't know what's happening now. I still told him he really should have got this all in writing. <laughs> That's yes. <laughs> but he's he's laying it on. <coughs> so we'll see what happens. The update is he's asking for a cat a lot now. <laughs> 500 times today. Shipwreck just got a new cat. I did. Maybe he has an extra one. Right. I I could probably bring you a cat. No, I know where to get cats from. Okay. There's plenty of cats to be had. <laughs> cat Cats are easy to find. Spain? <laughs> no, I don't need to. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to import my cat from less than a mile away. What kind of an asshole would do something <laughs> like that? <laughs> Yeah, how's that going? I heard you had a, a little accident earlier. You know, because we're doing the show, we threw her off her schedule, so it's really our <laughs> fault off the roof. for not. 
Yeah, because she did. As soon as she she went into the bedroom, and she's used to going outside right before going to bed. But I think Laura was going to be like, oh, we'll go to bed for a little bit, then I'll take you out at your normal time. But she got confused and then peed on the bed. So what can you do? Who doesn't make that mistake now and again? Well, you know, it's it's been three weeks. We're still getting the routine down. We do have a uh, dog walker now, though, which we never had before, hmm. who comes to the house in the afternoons. Hmm. So there's that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Do your kids not come to the house in the afternoons? Uh, they have camp now. Okay. Gotcha. So they're not home until Laura gets home. And that's like five, five. Yeah. Five. That's, that's, that's a long ass camp. I must have gone to a camp like that too, I guess. They well they, they have like an after camp program for That's where all the kids cool kids parents go. work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we work. So That's like where the real camp is, <laughs> the after camp. Mm-hmm. Yep. Only the lame people yep. go to the real camp. That's yeah. the one where they just put a movie on, right? <laughs> uh, actually, like, they get to play outside. Oh, so yeah, it's nice. one of those two things. It's either okay, all the rest of the kids left. We're putting a movie on for for the stragglers, right. or we're just going to fence them in outside somewhere. But yeah, both. But the, you know, you're you're not wrong. With today's modern technologies, you can do both at the same time. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, I went to a Yankee game over the weekend. Do, 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 do. I yeah, saw you were living the sweet life there. Yeah, we got. I got, I had never. And you've done this before, though. You've seen a game in a suite at the, like a Mets game, haven't you? Um, at a Mets game, possibly. I feel. I feel like you have shipwreck. Have you ever seen a game in a suite at a, at a, a Newark game in at a suites? Newark Bears game? I have many, many games in a suite. Yes. Yeah, I had my first. That was my first suite experience. Okay, it only cost it's fifty dollars cool. to get. The well, suite. you 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 had the Activision E three concert suite experience. That is true. That was the best experience. But this was a base. This was a Yankee game, and it did have uh, the suites have their own bathrooms, which is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I I like that. Also, it was catered for breakfast and for lunch. Nice. Yeah. So I ate a lot of food and I watched a lot of baseball. And my son is now a super fan of the Yankees. Like overnight, he went to the one game. He watched it from we. It was Old Timers Day, so he watched the, all three innings of the Old Timers game. Then watched all three innings of the Yankee game. Uh, then we came home, and then the next day he watched the Yankee game on TV. And now it's like all he wants to do is watch the Yankees. Great. Ah. Oh. I think it had an impact on him, is what I'm saying. Right. So, Shipwreck, you and my son have something to talk about. Baseball. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all I got. I didn't get the report cards yet, back yet, so I don't know if we're getting a cat. Tell them to like the team that's closer to your house. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's... Uh, I don't know. But do you want to set them up to be a Mets fan or like for a, t- a team that can actually win something? It's it is and you're you're not the Mets wrong won something. it is kind of uh, they did they won sure the Reds 86. won something too but it <laughs> look the owner of the Mets got swindled by Bernie Madoff he lost like half of his fucking money so you know he doesn't got the same same resources to put together that winning team anymore that's really sad that's what happened he sold he had to sell bits I of the team you. Bill Maher owns part of the Mets now. <laughs> You. Yeah, Seinfeld <laughs> does too, probably, I'm assuming, because he probably owns most of the Mets. He's going to a Mets game in like a couple of weeks. I think he's going to a Mets yes. game. So we'll see what he likes better. But this won't be a suite. This is going to be Shit. camp camp trip seats. He'll probably upgrade. So, uh huh. It's probably nobody going. So I'm not going to that game. I'm saying. Nobody so. else is either. They're losing. Yeah, I know. You think the tickets would be cheaper because I looked it oh, up. Oh, really? Later, yeah, in, later still... in the season, they'll be cheaper. Yeah, I'll wait. The... I'll wait it out. We'll see how he likes the, the, the game that he goes to with the camp. Trip. Once, once it's clear they're going nowhere, then you can get the seats for nothing and eat deep fried Oreos mm-hmm. at a discount. Well, the Oreos can't cost the same, but the seats are cheaper. Yeah, they don't, they don't discount no. those. You can still get that $18 steak sandwich for full price. Yeah. I'll pass. 